So, is pepper spray an effective way to stop school shootings? Well, there's a politician who thinks so, so it must work, right? What's going on, y'all? This is Code Red Conversations. Welcome aboard, I'm Eric Muldrow. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of my newer content. There's a video of a politician who had himself filmed getting pepper sprayed. Yes, getting pepper sprayed so that he can demonstrate the effectiveness of pepper spray as a tool to stop school shootings. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. That's why I'm running for US Congress. I'm calling on Congress to stop talking past each other and try something new. Empower schools and teachers with non-lethal self-defense tools like this can of pepper spray. Pepper spray doesn't cost much and it can be safely stored in a break glass in case of emergency cabinet, but it's powerful and won't accidentally kill a kid. Trust me, this will stop anyone in their tracks. It's incredibly painful, and now I just can't see anything. Wow, that's intense. For less than one dollar per person in the U.S., we can have a secured canister of pepper spray in every classroom in America. It's just unbearable. It's like lava in your eyes. All right, let's get into my areas of concern for this whole issue, my three areas of concern. Now, first off, I want to commend Levi Tillerman for at least trying to think a little bit and come up with an idea, a possible solution for the issue of the school shootings, the issue of school violence. Now, I think his idea is extremely flawed and that's being nice to say the least but at least he's trying to come up with solutions. I think we as a society should think long and hard to find effective ways to combat this problem that's been plaguing us here in this country. But alas, his, his method, his idea is extremely problematic. My first area of concern is pepper spray's varied effect. Now in all reality, not everyone is affected by pepper spray. Where you or I might get hit with a blast of pepper spray and might be put out of commission, that's not everyone. I've seen countless videos and situations where corrections officers and police officers used pepper spray on subjects and it was all in all, it was wholly ineffective. I've seen situations where people kept coming, they kept fighting and the pepper spray only pissed them off and only motivated them even further to do what it is that they're doing. This whole notion that pepper spray is the end all be all and can combat any dangerous situation is a bit silly. Now don't get me wrong, it sucks, it hurts, it's painful, and it can end a conflict possibly, but it's not a guarantee. So if you can't guarantee ending a conflict with a gun, it would be even less so with a low lethal weapon. My second area of concern is distance. From being a defensive tactics instructor and from the additional research that I've done in preparation for this video, the effective range usually falls within three to 12 feet. Now who in their right mind is gonna to seek to engage a shooter uh, at a range of three to 12 feet with pepper spray when they're wielding a gun and they're coming at you with an AK or a handgun or something along those lines. I don't know about you, but I don't want to, I don't want that fight. That's not a fight I'm willing to take on. It's similar to the old adage of bringing a knife to a gunfight. And this may be even worse to be completely honest with you. Last but not least is pepper spray's secondary impact or secondary effect. Anyone who's ever used or been around someone who's used pepper spray in an enclosed environment, my corrections brothers and sisters out there, you folks know perhaps better than anyone how 
damaging that can be to those around it. Anyone who's even slightly or remotely familiar with an active shooter situation understands that running, fleeing, getting the heck out of there is one of the most effective ways or means to survive. If your eyes and your lungs are full of pepper spray, that can eliminate one way for you to get out of that situation safely. And it can leave you in a situation where you're unable to get away and you're stuck there and your life is still at risk. So to Mr. Levi Tilleman, if you happen to see this video, thanks for at least trying to consider or trying to come up with a solution for the situation. But I would strongly suggest you take your idea back to the drawing board. As difficult as it may be in the times that we're living in, in my personal opinion, the best way to effectively protect our children is to have an armed security force, armed security team that patrols our schools. And with the ever increasing rise of terrorism and violence affecting our schools and our nation, we should stop being concerned about being politically correct and handle the problem as soon as possible. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that pepper spray may work? If you do, I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear your breakdown, your explanation as to why. If you think there's a different means to protect our kids, to protect our schools, I'd love to hear that as well. I'll be joining in on the comments below. Let's make sure we're respectful to one another. With that, I'll close out the video. So stay safe, God bless, and make sure you join the conversation.